least get them two times through the order and let that good bullpen go to work. On our heater was past him. Connor Cavallari doesn't have to throw down. It's going to be a strikeout to end the inning. A one, two, three, first for Heflin. Warming up here from a velocity standpoint. Line drive, snared by Parker Nolan at second base. Criticism of Nolan. Max Ferguson swings at the first pitch after an 0 for 4 night. Last night with three strikeouts. Outs on the year for Leiter, looking for his first. And get it here, ground ball. Tough play, Carter Young spins, won't have it. An infield hit for Rucker and Tennessee has its first base runner here in the first inning. It's Leiter in this one. That's in the turf, C.J. Rodriguez has to chase. And Rucker moves up 90 feet. A 5-0. Breaking ball missed inside. An infield single and now a walk for Gilbert. of Lindsey Nelson rooting section for Tennessee. Swung on to center field. Enrique Bradfield started back. He'll come over and make the catch. So Tennessee threatens against Leiter but does not score in the first. 12-6 curveball. Back over the mound and through into center field. Gilbert will field it and get it back in. First base hit for Vanderbilt in a short amount of time. That's down and in. He walked him. Two on and nobody out for the Commodores. Certainly the miscues cost them. They've only got one play. It's to first. Heflin spins to throw out Nolan. Bolger goes to third. Rodriguez advances to second. The 1-1 pitch. This is lofted into shallow right field on a gallop. Beck makes the catch. Runner will not be able to tag. Beck has got a hose. Bolger knew it. Which is a strike right on the outside corner. Popped up. Should end the inning. Ferguson is out in the outfield turf. He'll make the catch. So Vandy gets the first two on, but they have nothing to show for it. Have one yet. Boy, that is raked. Down the line, but snared by Keegan. No two pitch. And there is the first strikeout for Jack Leiter. is 85th on the year. 3-2 pitch. Walked him. Second walk allowed by Leiter. There. There goes again. Called strike three. Tennessee so Tennessee strands another one. A couple of strikeouts for Jack Leiter in the inning. Capacity is well over 4,000, but in this age of COVID, take that. And this is a disruptive player at the top of the batting order. Will Heflin has found a groove here in the third inning. Back the influence they've had on him. Inside, walked him. He will get it down. Well done by Ferguson. Runner in scoring position for Tennessee. And Jake Rucker, the number three hitter coming up. The 0-1, wrapped to the shortstop. Oh, wow. Young's going to go to third, and they wow. got him out at third base. Spence is tagged out, and there are two down. Time up. He's behind in the count, nothing in two. Struck him out. So Tennessee again strands a base runner. His first three innings. Keegan wraps it through the hole left side, and that's a base hit. Just the second hit for the Commodores. It is a breaking ball, and it's strike three. Fourth strikeout in four innings for Will Heflin. Mississippi State red hot coming into the day, but... That streak is going to end. Fly to the right fielder. He's got three strikeouts so far. Make it four. Two down. Mm. How about 96? That is a very distinct possibility that that happens this uh -oh. year. Uh -oh. This one is tagged to left center. Off the bat of Pavelone. Goodbye home run. Just the second home run against Leiter this year. And it comes from the seven hole, Connor Pavlon. And it's 1 0 Tennessee. Eight 
now. Hey now, Clay Mavic, just when it looked like he was settling in, Connor Pavloni, get the head out, young fella. Just a picture perfect swing at Pavloni, who took forever to hit his first home run this season. Now his second home run in as many weeks, and a little Bash Brothers. Jack Ryder up all season long. So pretty impressive. Oh uh -oh. Turn to oh. by Russell. Back to back homers for Tennessee. The Volunteers' first two runs of this series have come in the last two at bats. Back to back, Jax. Evan Russell's going to hang around a minute on that one. What in the world's going on in Knoxville, Clay? We got a home run fest here in the bottom of the fourth. The Vols are all fired up. We're going. The one two to Steenstrom. Breaking ball called strike three to end the inning. He's a lumberjack in the nine hole. Waits on the breaking ball, flicks it down the right field line. That's going to drift. And not far enough. Lipsius, way down the line, makes the catch for the third out. Here comes the 2 2. That's lifted to right field. Isaiah Thomas is going to call Nolan off and make the catch. One down. Here, as they had hoped. Struck him out, two down. Fire on the recruiting trails here to Knoxville. Well, Jack Leiter bounces back with a strong fifth inning that includes two strikeouts. Into the sixth this year. In fact, at Alabama went five and two thirds. That's a wide throw, and he's safe. Keegan is aboard at first. Ground ball. Rucker knocked it down, and that's all he's going to be able to do. Boy, it looked like he was going to have a chance at a spectacular play to redeem himself. And hit to left and deep. Uh -oh. Rodriguez taking it to the track and out of the yard. A three-run homer, and Vandy surges in front here in the sixth inning. That one stings if you're a Volunteers fan because you just give them a little bit of an opening clay and Vanderbilt runs through the door, a hanging changeup to C.J. Rodriguez and he does not miss it. A bomb over recent weeks. Line drive to the shortstop. Spence backs up and that'll end the inning. But the damage done, an error, an infield hit and then a three-run tater by the Vanderbilt catcher. He has since those two home runs. Whack to the second baseman, Nolan, way back on the outfield turf, throws out Drew Gilbert for the first down. They get into the funnel, and by the time they leave it, they are multi-millionaires and first-round picks. And, and set up. Number eight. And set up. Go out and get first-rounders. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the sixth. He's got nine today. Strikeout and a pop-out. And he goes opposite field again. Hit a home run to this side of the field last night. And he does it again. To the power alley in right center. Second home run of the series for Gonzalez. And here come... The Vandy boys, a loud statement right there by big number 99, giving you shades of Aaron Judge. The number he wears is the same as Aaron Judge, and this is an oppo taco that'll make you think of Mr. Judge. Just a bomb out on the street to right center field as Vandy extends their lead. That's popped up. Redfield trying to drag his way on for just the second time all year. 1-2 pitch, got it. Three straight strikeouts now for Leiter.
he hits this one well to left center. Davis and Bradfield look it up, and it's gone. Home run. Oh, my. Evan Russell goes yard for the second time against Jack Leiter. Pretty incredible. Leiter goes back to the fastball, which Russell made him pay last time. Look how close he keeps those arms to the body there to get that barrel inside a fastball that's running in on him. And that's a big ball out there to the 385 sign. And something tells me the student section liked that one, Clay. Lindsay's legends, they love him in Knoxville. The 2-2, two -two. foul back. Oh, catcher's interference. It is catcher's interference. His home plate umpire, Brandon Cooper, points right at C.J. Rodriguez. Got three off of him. But Jack Leiter will hand it over to Luke Murphy in the seventh inning. Walked him. The 0-2 pitch. Strike three called, and Ferguson would, would love to have that one back. The 2-0 from Murphy, hit to center, going back, Bradfield, he covers a lot of ground, mm. gets back easily and makes the catch on the warning track to end the Tennessee threat. And he's going to hit it that way again, this time it's going to sail through that hole and into left field. And still in this ball game, not, not to get the win himself, but to give his, chance, his team a chance to win and put that one in the pocket. Great bunt by Bolger. Back-to-back -back hits for Vandy in the eighth. Here as well as being a gifted receiver of the ball. This is hit to Spence. He'll flip to second for one. On to first. Double play. And Tennessee snuffs out that threat by Vandy. Oh, Keep some ice <laughs> Very wise. Walked him. Drew Gilbert. Back up the middle base hit. Stopping at second is Gilbert. Two on, nobody out. Murphy deals the 0-2. Popped up. Bradfield circling under it in the gap. Gets behind it. Here comes the throw to third, and it's going to be cut off. Both runners advance, so that's a productive out for Luke Lipsius. On deck, I think they pitched to him here. Did that hit him? Yes, it did. And now the bases are loaded, and Russell will likely get his chance to hit. Oh, no way. No way. Are you kidding me, Clay Mavic? Are you kidding me? The hat trick, the senior against Vanderbilt, a hanging breaking ball for his third homer of the ball game. And how about a grand slam as the Vols take the lead here in the bottom of the eighth. The place is going nuts. What a performance by Evan Russell. And you know the Lindsey Nelson legends are loving it. Donye Evans on now for Vanderbilt. Booker, the pinch hitter, and he sends it to the gap. Hey, in those three spots. Walked him. Two on and one out. Did that hit him? Yes. Bases loaded again, and here comes Jake Rucker been at lights out all year long, but people feel like they can get to the Vandy bullpen. This is going to be a tough play for Evans. In time for the out, but a run comes home. And it's 8-4. to four. Figure out a way to win one of the first two and then 
you feel like you've got the advantage on Sunday. Popped up. This should end it. Calling for it. Spence, he's got it. And Tennessee wins game two, eight to four.